Hi there, I'm Eduardo from Zilla and I'm here today to talk about the Zilla Studio Pro plugin. We'll cover main features, how to add and set up virtual microphones, how to use surround presets and a lot more. So here's the plugin interface. The main element here is this bigger circle that represents the sound field around the microphone. The smaller one represents your ZM1 mic. And notice here this little even smaller one indicating the front of the mic. So it corresponds to that red dot you can find on the physical microphone. I have a recording here made previously. I'm going to play so we can start testing the plugin. Pressing play here. No sound. That's because there's no virtual microphone in place. Virtual microphones is what we use in Zilia Studio Pro to hear the sounds from all directions. So how can I get a virtual microphone in here? Just click in the middle. There you go. Here's our first virtual microphone. We can already hear something. I can move it around. Now, let's leave it aside for a second to have a look at the features we have in Zilia Studio Pro. On the bottom left corner of the window, you find the energy map button. One click and it shows you the strength of the sound signals in the sound field around the microphone. Now we know from which direction the sounds are coming. You can see those patterns glowing. This is indicating the sounds. Now, since this is a virtual mic, I can play with the azimuth here or here. You can see that this parameter is measured in angles. Zero degrees here, the very front of the microphone. The angle increases going clockwise all the way to 360 slash zero degree again. You can also change the elevation. So, infinite possibilities here. You can point your mic to a specific instrument, to a space in between musicians to get some ambient, or maybe even to a wall or changing the elevation, pointing up to the ceiling to get some interesting reflections. Pretty awesome post-processing tricks right there. Each virtual microphone is assigned to a separate output channel, so it can be sent to a dedicated track for further mixing or processing. You can rename or delete a microphone clicking on those three dots here on the right side. I'll delete this one for now, so we can try something really cool. On the top left, we have the source localization feature. One click and Zilla Studio Pro will identify the sound sources for you. Those here are suggestions for virtual microphone placement. I'll add both the guitar and the accordion by clicking on the blue circles. Notice that the virtual mic positions consider not only azimuth but elevation as well. I also have a distant bass with very diffuse sound, so I'll manually add it here. As virtual microphones, they can be tweaked in many ways. We already changed azimuth and elevation, but you can also alter their polar patterns, so basically change their directivity. Clicking here, you can see the polar pattern of your microphone. This is the default and minimum value. You can easily change it, making it less directive and back. You can even go all the way to Omni, check it out. So, we have three mics here, one for each instrument. But why stop there? Clicking here in the center or on add microphone on the top right corner, you can have a fourth microphone. I'll make it Omni, so it captures all sounds in my room. You can add up to 24 virtual microphones, and each one can be redirected from Zilla Studio Pro to a separate audio track in your door, so you can process them as you please. If you look at the bottom right corner, you can see just under parameters, output channel, so there you are. If I select my first virtual microphone here, it's going to output Z1, the second one Z2, and so on. So you have several outputs to send signals to specific tracks. I had already set up four tracks in my DAW that are receiving those signals from the virtual microphones I just put in here. So the guitar you hear has the panning set to 20% to the left, the accordion 20% to the right, the bass track I left untouched, and the fourth track is just receiving the Omni signal, but with a lower volume. 
Now, let's talk about separation modes and levels. Under separation mode, there are three options. S1. In general, this is the best option for recording spaces with low reverberation times and few spread apart sound sources. S2 is the default option recommended for more reverberant spaces, for when there are many virtual microphones in place, and if you're using automation. Now, Omni mode has equal sensitivity in every angle, so azimuth and elevation settings are ignored. Now, there are two separation levels. Medium is the default setting. If you change it to high, there is additional processing applied for a stronger separation effect. You can also automate some things here in Zillow Studio Pro. For each virtual microphone, you can automate azimuth angle, elevation angle, and width, the directivity. Automation envelopes are mapped to output channels. For instance, to draw azimuth automation for a virtual microphone connected to the Z2 channel, you need to find the Z2 azimuth parameter in your DAW. Remember, if you change the output channel on the plugin, your previous automation won't be transferred to the new output channel. So if you change your virtual microphone to Z3 output, you need to draw an automation for the Z3 parameter. Okay, we've covered a lot of ground here, but there's more. Take a look here on the upper right, you have import and export. You can use the import feature to retrieve the plugin configuration from another Zillia Studio Pro session or from a Zillia Studio session. So if you had a specific virtual microphone configuration done in Zillia Studio and you want to have this brought to Zillia Studio Pro, you can export in Zillia Studio and import it here. Now, if you'd like to use your recordings for specific speaker setups or surround systems, for instance, 5.1, 7.1, 22.2, you have several presets available to choose from. Let's try one here. I'll choose this preset and boom, the virtual mics are mapped to surround. This will make your work fast and easy. So that's it for today. I'm sure you'll find your own way of using Zillia Studio Pro to make your recording sound incredible. See ya.